Hello everyone, it's Alisa Tilsner here. We are in the Blends and Beyond group, so uh, welcome to everyone. I'm just jumping in live. We are kicking off our, uh, oops, I've just found myself already, awesome. We are kicking off our 30 day challenge of coloring every day. And this is gonna be a stretch for me as well because I don't normally color every single day. So it's going to be, um, a challenge for me as well. So I thought I would just jump in and show you um, how I have colored this uh, little pot here from the Country Flowers uh, stamp set, which is this one here. And because I've used, I've used, actually used the same colors that I did when we did the plain um, not too long ago. And, uh, and I thought this turned out quite well. It's nice rustic pot going on here so let's get stuck straight into that so i have stamped already in memento if you are new to alcohol markers and our stamp and blends you do need a water-based ink pad um, memento is perfect for that you can also use any color of our um Stamp pads, so because they are all water based, as long as it's water based when you're using with alcohol. If you are water coloring as part of this challenge, then don't forget you'll need a stays on. So, the colors that we are going to be using are copper clay, light and dark, smoky slate, light and dark, and then a little bit of dark night of navy. Okay, and I have got just a little cloth here. My mat is dreadfully cold and my finger is um, suffering for it. I've got chilblains again on my finger and my knuckles all red and swollen. Uh, so I'm going to just try and take the chill off. I don't know whether it'll work, but I'm just going to try and put a block between that mat and myself. So let's zoom in a little bit. I'll probably have to readjust where I am at. There we go. Okay, so I will pop this up on YouTube as well. So if you are watching the replay on YouTube, do come and join our Blends and Beyond um, Facebook group. Uh, we just love coloring with our st mainly stamp and blends, um, but any coloring will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my dark copper clay. And with, actually, this is not going to work because I move my hand around too much because I'm actually down here now. Um, so we're going to come in with our dark copper clay and we're going to start from the edge and just flick our way in to the middle, swing around and flick the other way. So I don't know whether I've got comments or not I can never figure out I can never figure out this thing um, I never see them so I'm not even going to bother looking so apologies if anyone is there and commenting so now I'm going to come in with my light and go over the top of that so this is just putting our little um, undertone of the copper clay in there okay and then I'm going to come in with my dark smoky slate if I can get my lid off being stubborn and I'm going to go over the top of everything and extend it out just a little bit these nibs on my smoky slate I have changed they are not stamping up nibs anymore if you need the link let me know on how to switch them these ones are ohuhu nibs you can also put Copic nibs in there if that's what you prefer. Okay, and then with my light, and I'm going to go over the top. This one's probably going to be a little bit uh, different to the one I've already coloured because I can already tell I've used more copper than um, smoky slate in this one. But that is fine because all our pots can be different. Nobody says they have to be the same each time. So, and then I'm just going to go backwards and forwards a little bit over the top of that. And what happens is because I've got a nice light color going on, it's making that copper clay that I put down quite mottled, which is what's giving us that bit of a rustic look. Okay, so this one here, I, I put less copper clay down and I've put more copper clay down in that one. So you can play around with the amount of um, that you, you know, color that you put down as well. So, um, you know, have a play around with that as well. Okay, now I'm coming in with my dark um, Night of Navy and all I did with this one is I just sort of, um, just sort of pounced a little bit of the color down around the edges. 
I can tell you this mat is absolutely freezing my hands at the moment. So we've got a little bit of dark going on there and then I'm going to come in with my copper clay again. This one's just the light one and just going to go over the top and extend out and over the top and extend it out a little bit. We can do lots of layering with our blends. And then I'm going to bring in my light copper clay, uh, my light uh, smoky slate, sorry, apologies. And that will just help give that mottled effect again. Okay, and then we'll just do a swoop over the top. to help blend all those colors in together. Okay, so for the two little rims, what I did was bring in my Knight of Navy, get my words right, and Knight of Navy on this end. And I will have to switch to the bullet tip because that one is very fine. And then we'll go in with our smoky slates. And then our light one. And again, that'll start that little modeling effect on, um, on the blue. Okay, and then we're just, for the top part, we're just gonna repeat what we did uh, for this metal section here. So coming in with our dark, oops, and out the line a little bit. Dark, then light. And because I went heavy handed with my copper in the main section, I'm gonna go heavy handed Again, so whatever you do, however, whatever amount that you put in this section here, make sure you replicate it in the top section. And my dark smoky slate. So over the top of everything and extend it out a little bit. And then light over the whole lot. And then that little swoosh over everything just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Okay, and then I can come in again with my Knight of Navy. Just sort of pounce and scribble a little bit on there. Back to my copper. And then once again with my gray, just to blend it all back in and get that mottling effect. So we end up with quite a nice rustic looking um, pot here. It's quite dark, but um, you know, if you like those muted tones, then this one is good for it. Okay, so that is that. I might actually just bring a little bit more I've definitely gone heavy handed this morning. Okay, so that is how I colored my pot. Just make sure my lids are back on. And you can see that my one that I did, and also it's dried. This one has dried overnight. I did this uh, I did this on the weekend, so it's had a couple of days to dry. This one will settle down, but uh, so you can see the difference of how much copper clay you put on as to what sort of pot you end up with. So there we go. Now I have got, uh, if you're doing the everyday coloring challenge, then I have, um, I've got a day one, day two, day three post, etc. And any photos, like do your little bit of coloring, take a quick photo 
and pop it into that particular day's post and um, hopefully we can just get lost in our little world of coloring even if it's just for 10 minutes a day um, I think it's nice to just get away from life for a little while and coloring definitely helps with that so if you're not over in the group come join us um, we would love to have you there okay thank you bye bye